Today I'm doing a Chinese funeral. Long tones. First notes of the day, just trying to get something happening, trying to get the cobwebs out. And I'm on my way to Mountain View, and I'm gonna pick up a friend of mine, he plays trumpet, and then we're gonna go up to the Mission District in San Francisco, and pick up another uh, friend of mine, plays trombone, and uh, we're gonna do this Chinese funeral. What is a Chinese funeral? I think it dates back to Hong Kong and the British had an influence over that culture and they used to hire brass bands with trumpets and trombones, no saxophones, a tuba, depending on the size of the band, and a bass drum and a snare drum. It's a, so it's a marching band. And they're in San Francisco and basically what we do is we march in front of the funeral procession. And to my knowledge, it's basically we're hired to scare away the evil spirits. So what we do is we march around downtown Chinatown and probably go four or five blocks, sometimes more, sometimes less. We play as the casket is coming out of the funeral home. And then we line up in formation and play in front of the funeral procession. And every trumpet player I know, I think, has at one time or another played a Chinese funeral. A lot of guys are like, I'm not gonna do that gig, you know, uh, which I totally respect that, you know. You just wanna play jazz gigs or you wanna do musicals or you wanna do orchestral gigs, I, I get it. But for me, it's always been, and I've been doing these for 30 years. For me, it's always been, if I can pull out my horn and make some money, I'm gonna do it. I think in my early years, one time I got a W-2 for Chinese funerals that was like $5,000, which isn't a whole lot of money, because we would do two on Friday, we'd do four on Saturday, we'd do five on Sunday, and these are all early morning, and they'd be throughout the day, and then we'd be able to do our gigs at night. So it was a good way of making a little extra cash. Mm -hmm. 